When it comes to photography and the reposting of images on social media, many individuals and even businesses tend to view it as a gray area where there really aren't any set rules and pretty much anything goes. Unfortunately though, that's not really the case and I'll explain why. Now to be real, you're probably watching this video because you yourself want some clarification on the matter or you were sent this video to help clear up what can and can't be done with a specific photo. While I will try to do my best and simplify and explain a few things about photography and the arena that is social media, realistically, I'm not going to be able to cover every single type of scenario and use case. But for everything I'm going to mention in this video, we're going to assume one major factor. The photographer who took the photo is still the one who legally owns the image and still holds the copyright. And because of that, the photographer has the ability to call the shots on not only who can use their images, but how they can be used as well. And if you're not entirely sure if the original photographer is still the one who holds the original copyright to an image, just assume that they do. It is a big deal and really not all that common for a photographer to just relinquish and give up copyright ownership. Wait a minute, what specifically are we talking about here? Is there a difference between sharing and reposting an image? Yes, there is a difference, so let's clear this up. In most instances, whenever an image is shared via a function within the social media platform or app itself, that's perfectly okay. On Facebook, you can share a post by using the share feature. On Instagram, a post can be shared to another Instagram story or sent in a direct message. And on Twitter, something can be retweeted. In most cases, that's perfectly fine because the image file itself never left the platform and it typically points the viewer back to the original post anyway. On the other hand, problems and legal issues come up when an image file is copied and extracted from the platform and saved to a device by either downloading the file directly, taking a screenshot, or yes, even using one of those third-party reposting apps to then take that image and place it on another social media account. Well, I thought if an image is up on social media, anybody can use it. Unfortunately, no, that is not the case. In fact, in the fine print of the major social media platforms, None of them say that. When a person or business uses a photo without the photographer's permission, the technical term for that is copyright infringement. And most social media platforms discourage it and don't even allow it. The problem is most of them don't monitor for things like that or even have proactive ways to enforce it. In fact, about the only time they'll take any type of action concerning copyright infringement is when it's brought to their attention. And while technically they don't allow it, their user agreements and fine print also free them from any legal obligation if copyright infringement is discovered on their platform. The reason being is because they know on their platforms it happens so often. They basically wipe their hands clean and go, hey, that's not our problem. That's between you and you. But it's just being reposted on social media. I don't understand what's the big deal. In today's day and age, it's not just social media. Granted, maybe 10 plus years ago, social media was viewed as a bonus or an extra part of a business's marketing strategy. But now things are clearly different. Some companies have hundreds thousands, even tens of thousands of people who view and interact with the content that they post on a regular basis. Some businesses have job positions or even entire departments to handle their social media marketing. Many of them will get more eyes, engagement, likes, and comments on a single post than clicks that their main website will get in an entire month. So I'm sorry, but the it's just social media argument, it's a bit out of date. But I run the social media for the business and we love it when other accounts repost our images. It's great exposure for us. I get it. If your content is being reposted by another account, especially one that's significantly bigger than your own, yes, it feels like it's kind of a big deal. But if what they repost is an image from your account that the photographer still holds the copyright to and they don't have permission from the photographer to use it, it actually goes against copyright law and 
Technically, it's stealing. Look at it this way. If you've paid good money for a photographer to help create great images that you can then use on your social media and marketing efforts, why does another company get those benefits without having to pay anything? Believe me, they are not reposting those images just to help out with your exposure. They see an advantage to that image because it helps out with their branding as well. Basically, those other accounts are piggybacking off of what you've paid for. And the funny thing is, most people know you can't just walk out of a department store with a pair of shoes without having to pay for them. Most people know you can't just take a painting off the wall from an art museum and take it home. And most people know they can't copy and distribute software that they don't own. Why would it be any different with a photographer's image? But I gave the original account or photographer credit on the post. I, I really don't see what the big deal is. Yes, to some photographers, giving them credit on a post is sufficient enough. And while as photographers, we do appreciate the thought behind it, to many professional photographers, exposure or credit from a non-paying client it does little to nothing for them. Again, if you provide any kind of product or service and you don't have permission to use a photo on your social media account, tagging or giving a mention to the photographer does not clear you from any legal consequences. If I steal a car off a lot, I'm not in the clear as long as I throw a bumper sticker on the back that states what dealership I took it from. But I wanna repost an image from an account that has my product in it, or it's a project that my business worked on. Then you need to get permission from the photographer. Just because it has a product from your business or showcases a project that you worked on or were involved with doesn't mean you get to automatically do what you want with it. Say you post a photo of yourself online and in the photo you're holding a Coca-Cola can in your hand while wearing a Nike t-shirt. Neither Coke or Nike have the automatic right to just repost and start using that photo on their social media accounts. If you took the photo, they would need your clear permission to use it. Again, there are more technicalities and variables, and there will always be unique situations and exceptions in some cases. But if your business has a social media account, what do you need to do to avoid some of these issues? Simply put, get permission from the photographer. And yes, many times that permission involves a licensing fee. There might be a cost to it. If a lot of the content on your social media account are reposted images from other accounts, just know that you may be playing with fire. You may not have heard a single complaint up to this point, but all it takes is one photographer to raise a stink, press the issue, and make it a legal annoyance for you and your business. Oh, and quick side note, if you're one of those businesses that's trying to use hashtags or a specifically worded comment that has sneaky terms and conditions attached, as photographers, we're on to you. It's pretty obvious what all you're trying to get for free. You can try to work in unlimited worldwide use, distribution, print rights, even full copyright ownership, but unless you're asking us photographers directly who typically still hold the copyright, it's kind of null and void to even try.